Hey, it's Friday, it's the end of the week, and my name is Adam, it's The Daily Dose, and we've been talking about faith and actions, or faith and deeds. And that first example that, that James talks about in James chapter two is Abraham. He concludes it with verse 23, and he says this, and the scripture was fulfilled that says, quote, Abraham believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness, and he was called God's friend. So. The fulfillment of that scripture took place when Abraham went up on Mount Moriah and began to, just as he was going to sacrifice his son, that's when the scripture was fulfilled and it was credit to him as righteousness. Now, a lot of times I've heard this verse preached on how it's like he believed and he was called righteous. Yes, yes, they're, 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 that's very true. But the fulfillment, yes, the, the, the completeness of, of that scripture also is true. What is also is true is what, what James is saying, is that it was fulfilled when he acted out what God had told him to do. He believes God, that God was gonna provide a son. And then when he said, take Isaac, your son, and I want you to go sacrifice him, the fulfillment of that scripture took place. So here's my question. I wonder what God wants to fulfill in you. I wonder what verse, I wonder what promise, I, I wonder what dream, what destiny, what, what good thing, what work, what does he have to fulfill in you, maybe in your family, in your marriage, maybe, maybe in your business, uh, maybe in your emotional life, maybe in your past. I don't know what it is, but I can promise you this, there are things that God wants to fulfill in you. And in order for him to fulfill those things, there are things that you and I are called to do in faith. Sometimes they don't make sense to us. Sometimes we can't see them. We can't understand. Them. All we have is the sense in our heart that God is speaking to us. And we have to take a step of faith. Do you remember what Hebrews chapter 11 says? The writer says this, without faith, it is impossible to believe, uh, it's impossible to please God. And isn't that what we want? Isn't that what you want? You want to please God. You know, as we enter the weekend, I want you to please God this weekend. And I want you to do that by exercising your faith through action. I'll see you next week on The Daily Dose.